Hey there everyone, Ramesh here back again with another video. In previous video, we have seen step by step how to use data transfer object in Spring Boot application. Okay, so basically we have created Spring Boot application and we have created user and location JP entities and we have created user location DTO which contains all the required information and we have created a simple REST API which returns a list of DTOs to the client. Okay, and in user service, we have written a code to map JP entity to DTO. So this is the code that we have written, right? To, you know, map user JP entity to user location DTO. So let's say your Spring Boot application has hundreds of JP entities and DTOs. And if you start writing, uh, you know, code like this to manually convert entity to DTO and vice versa then you need to write a lot of code guys okay so instead of writing this kind of code what we can do is we can use third party library to directly map entity to DTO and vice versa all right so in this video i am going to demonstrate how to use model mapper library to map you know objects well we can also use map start library so in next video i will show you how to use map start library to map uh, you know objects in this video, we'll stick with how to use model mapper library. Okay, great. So if you can see here, why, mod, why model mapper? Well, the goal of model mapper is to make object mapping easy by automatically determining how one object model maps to another based on the conventions. All right, so it's very easy to use model mapper library guys to map the objects. Okay, great. So now what we'll do, we'll head over to IntelliJ IDEA and we will see step by step how to use model mapper library to map entity to DTO and vice versa. So first of all, what you need to do is you need to add a library. Okay, so go ahead and just search in a browser model mapper and type Marvin. Okay, so this will bring up a model mapper library in a Marvin repository. So go ahead and click on this and go ahead and Choose the first that is latest 2.4.4 and just copy. So if you, if you can see here, copy to clipboard. So it is copied. Now we can go to pom.xml of our Spring project and we can just paste here. Okay, that's it. And here we can just load Marvin changes so that uh, you know Marvin will download this dependency from the internet and it will store in a local repository Okay, so this is the first step Okay guys, so next move to spring boot main entry point class and in this class We are going to configure model mapper bin as a spring bin. Okay, so at the top let's use at bin annotation to configure model mapper as a spring bean public and then model mapper and method name is model mapper so this is uh, the basically java configuration guys and this should return object of model mapper okay perfect so this is the second step okay we have configured model mapper as a spring bean now we can inject this spring bin and we can use model mapper class apis all right so go to user service and here we're going to inject model mapper so we're going to use that auto add annotation to inject the model mapper bin model mapper and then model mapper okay so this is the third step so once we inject model mapper, then we can use model mapper class APIs. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply copy this method and paste it here. And I'm going to comment out this method. Okay. And I will remove this code. And here we're going to use model mapper APIs to map user JP entity to user location DTO class. So here, what we're going to do is we're going to use model mapper dot map. So if you can see here, there are multiple map methods. 
okay so just choose first one source to destination okay and we're gonna pass source as user jp entity and we need to convert user jp entity to user location dto right that's it and we just return this object that's it guys so instead of writing this line of code in a single line of code we can just you know map user jp entity to dto class all right so this is the fourth step all right so only we need a four steps so first we we'll add a dependency model mapper dependency and next we just configure model mapper as a spring bean and next we we inject that model mapper uh, by using attack to add annotation and then we use model mapper map api to map user jp entity to dto that's it guys now let's go ahead and let's run our spring boot application and let's test whether the rest api will work or not so go ahead and just run spring boot application as a standalone in embedded tomcat server So look at here our Spring Boot application is up and running in Embedded Tomcat server which is running on port 8080. Now let's head over to the browser and in the browser just type localhost 8080 slash users hyphen locations and if you can see here the response user id email is populated with the data but place longitude and latitude the data is not populated in these fields okay. So the basically the reason is that we have many to one relationship right and in a user class we have used location as a reference type okay and model mapper uh, you know sometimes may not able to match the properties uh, from the from the reference type so in order to resolve this kind of issues we can just you know provide a configuration for model mapper class so let me show you how to do that so if you can see here within a user class we have a location object right and uh, model mapper may not uh, map the property which are defined in a, a location object so in order to match all the properties what we can do is we can provide the configuration so go to user service and go to convert entity to dto method and here we're going to provide a matching strategy as loose okay so get the configuration from model mapper and set matching strategy as a lose so this will map all the properties which are defined in location object so now what we're going to do is we're going to rerun our spring boot application and let's verify whether our rest api you know returns a response with a correct data well our spring boot application is up and running uh, in embedded tomcat server in port 8080 so let's head over to browser again and let's refresh and here you can see place pony longitude latitude so all the data uh, in these fields are populated correctly okay guys so make sure that you provide a configuration so that you cannot uh, you know lose any values for the properties all right so this is how we use model mapper library to map uh, entity to DTO and you can also map DTO to entity for example let me copy this and paste it here and just change the method name convert DTO to entity so in this case the input is user location DTO and the return is return type is user JP entity and we need to create object of user jp entity here all right and we're going to use model mapper api that is map and in this case the source is user location dto and the destination is user jp entity class okay and then simply return user object so this is how we convert 
JP entity to DTO and DTO to JP entity.